watching The High Road with me, Keith Warren. All right, let's go ahead and get this started. Ooh. Oh, ho, 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 baby. That is fine. We're going to have some fun here. Everybody likes cool guns, and this is about as cool a gun as you can have. This is a DP-12, everybody. That means a dual pump 12 gauge shotgun. It's a double barrel. And on this video, we're going to tell you all about it. We're going to make some fruit salad, and then we're going to go out on a hog hunt. All right, got it loaded up with four rounds of seven and a half shot. Let's do this thing. What do you think about that? So we ran into the juice man a little earlier. We're fixing to run out of watermelon, so heck with it. We're gonna shoot some juice. Nice. Ooh, baby. I gotta remember to pump it. Ooh. That's nice. I love that smell. DP-12 by Standard Manufacturing. We're gonna clean this mess up, and then we're gonna go on a hog hunt. I think y'all are gonna like this one. All right, so we've got the new shotgun on, and it's time to put it to the test. Uh, the ranch that we're hunting on, I was down here last year, and uh, well, I'll tell you what, it is covered in hogs. I was able to take an air rifle and take a really nice hog, and keep in mind, this place is thick brush, really, really thick brush. And so I'm back down here and I've got the DP-12 with me and I'm set up about 15 yards from a deer feeder. This spot is absolutely perfect. Got the wind coming right in our face. Of course, we wound up, we sprayed down just in case, but the spot's perfect. And this is the piece of equipment we're gonna put to work this evening right here. It's got topped off with a sight mark, red dot sight. So hopefully they'll come in before it's too dark and we can show you what this shotgun does. As the sun's starting to set, all of a sudden we have somebody show up. Matter of fact, a whole bunch of somebody show up that we weren't expecting. Ducks coming to a deer feeder. Every time we go to the stand and we're hunting hogs, the one thing that we're gonna always take with us is a, is a Pulsar thermal monocular. And the reason why is because we're able to see things coming in in those low light times that you just really can't see with your naked eye. So anyway, we've got uh, some hogs coming in. There's some coming in right now. I can hear them eating corn. There's several of them, they're good size too. I hit him, I know I hit him. He went in that thick brush. The good thing is I got a flashlight on this gun. Let's go get him. All right, the gun is clear. You know, uh, this gun, we showed you earlier what it would do on different targets. And so I was really looking forward to coming out and trying it on a feral hog. And feral hogs are tough, as you can tell. Uh, if you take a look at the shot placement on this pig right here, I mean, it's a huge hole. Now the shot is not good by all means, but it's good enough to get the job done. But what surprises me and what should surprise you is how tough these animals are. Anyway, this is a real nice boar hog. Got a uh, long, pretty hair on it. Got a little bit of white on it. Uh, a perfect size eating hog. And uh, the landowners down here in South Texas really appreciate you taking them out. So uh, it wasn't as good of a kill shot as what I was hoping for for doggone sure, but it certainly got the job done. Again, this is the DP-12, okay? It is made by Standard Manufacturing, and it is a wonderful home defense weapon. If you like this video, share it with a friend, and subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions or comments, just go ahead and post them below. Clearly, the shotgun did an exceptional job on this hog. Now, you know, I've had people ask all the time, say, would you rather have a shotgun in your home for personal protection, or would you rather have a, say, a MSR? Uh, no doubt, I'd rather have the shotgun. The reason why is because just look at the damage that it does. We just showed you. And so, uh, you know, there's no better way to go out and actually show you how it works on an animal than a feral hog. Feral hogs, as you can see from today's program, are a tremendous problem in some parts of Texas. You know, they say there's two types of property. 
property that has feral hogs and property that's soon gonna have feral hogs. So we did our part today in trying to eliminate as many as we could. My name is Keith Warren and thanks for watching. Taxidermy work for the High Road Group is provided by our friends at Conroe Taxidermy, Conroe, Texas.